It's pretty easy to create an article summary with ChatGPT. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do it and how you can get more value from your summaries. ChatGPT can search the web in real time and create summaries. Basically, this means you can head over to any article online, copy the URL to your clipboard, head back over to ChatGPT, make sure you're on the latest model, and then simply paste in this prompt. Summarize this article followed by the URL in question. And then if you upload this to ChatGPT, it should create a summary quickly and easily. And you will see it says searching the web. So now it's pulled through a brief summary of the article that I published on my site. So this article was about the most common types of plagiarism. As you can see in the article, I listed out seven common types of plagiarism, all of which ChatGPT has referenced. And then in the second half of the output, it's briefly summarized the points that I made throughout the article in question. So it's a pretty good summary. If you're going to create article summaries, just be careful of plagiarism. Don't take that content for a bottom. And I like how ChatGPT handles this. So if I click on the sources button, you can see that it's pulled through or presented all of the different articles on my site that are about plagiarism. So this is quite helpful if I want to generate sources and add them to my summaries. Don't forget you can provide ChatGPT with additional prompts. I've asked it to summarize the article in two paragraphs rather than a bullet point list. And again, it summarized exactly what the article is about, mentioned the types of plagiarism and how I can avoid it. Or I could simply put in summarize as a single sentence. And now it's given me a brief summary in a single sentence that quickly describes the contents of this article. You can also ask ChatGPT to analyze an article and summarize it for a specific type of audience. So here I've asked ChatGPT to summarize the article, focusing on the implications of plagiarism for content creators like me. Now I've asked it to summarize, focusing on the business implications, and it's described how plagiarism could affect your reputation as a business owner, a role company trust, and so on. Now clearly this summary is a bit of an interpretation of the content that I published on my site, but it is a good way to, I suppose, analyze something that's been published online and summarize it for a specific use case or audience. Occasionally you've noticed ChatGPT will have a problem with a specific URL. So you can of course copy the contents to your clipboard, head back over to ChatGPT, paste the article in and then use this prompt. Summarize this article ignoring the ads, menu items and user interface text. And then ChatGPT should be able to read through the contents of the article and then give you a version or a summary that you can quickly reference and refer to. Now just remember, if you're going to follow this approach, some websites have AI specifically blocked from their site. So you may be going against their guidelines and you could be guilty of inadvertent plagiarism. I know it's all very meta. So do make sure to cite your sources and do be careful about how you use your summaries. You can also follow a different approach to summarize articles. So basically make sure you're using the latest model and then click on attach files. And then you can select upload from your computer and then you can select the article in question. So in this case, here's a long article that I published some time ago, which is a type of guide to affiliate marketing. So I'm going to upload this to ChatGPT, and then I'm just going to give it the simple prompt, summarize this article. And much like before, ChatGPT will just take a moment to summarize the contents of the entire article. Now I have found with PDFs, it can be a little bit slower than summarizing content that's available uh, online. However, accuracy usually isn't an issue. And again, I can reprompt ChatGPT to summarize as a single paragraph for content creators or discussing the implications for content creators. So I'm just going to fix that typo with Grammarly. I have some other videos on the channel where I profile how I use Grammarly as a type of writing assistant. So be sure and check that out. It's going to analyze it and then provide a summary that's relevant specifically to content creators. So here's what it's said. Affiliate marketing offers content creators a practical way to monetize their audience without creating their own products. And as somebody who wrote the article, I can tell you that that is pretty accurate. And then it describes why you shouldn't over rely on single affiliate programs. And that is an idea that I describe or I talk about in the article in question. Here's another way you can summarize articles. Basically connect ChatGPT to your Google Drive. And then if you have articles inside of Google Drive, ChatGPT can quickly analyze them. So when you select the add Google Drive icon, it'll open up this select a file picker. Now I found it can be a little bit slow to uh, open up compared to other tools like Claude. Claude actually does a slightly better job of this. And do check out my videos on the channel uh, where I profile how you can use Claude. 
I'm going to look for an email that I sent to my list. So this email is all about how to uh, monetize a dead email list. So I'm going to say summarize this email. And now ChatGPT is going to analyze the Google Doc and describe the key points that I talk about in this particular email that I sent to subscribers. So if you like the specific prompts that I showed you at the start of the video, ChatGPT can also help you come up with other ones that you can use for your summaries. So make sure you're using the latest model, then select more, and then simply look for the summarize text option. And it'll give you a couple of different versions that you can choose from. So let's try this one. Summarize chapter one of a book. So ChatGPT has asked me to upload the file or provide the book title and chapter details for context. Here's a book I wrote a few years ago called The Power of Creativity. It's a three-part series for writers, artists, and musicians. So I put in this title into ChatGPT and it's found the book in question. So I'm just gonna type in yes. I'm quite interested to see what the summary will look like. So it's describing how in chapter one, I talk about the foundational aspect or aspects of creativity and the different types of creativity that exist. And I can tell you, as somebody who wrote the book, that that is reasonably accurate, although it's missing some of the stories and context. So if you're gonna use ChatGPT for summaries like this for books, remember that it can only access information that's in the public domain and also accessible via search engines. So you would really need to fact check these types of summaries. You can also use ChatGPT to summarize research papers that are publicly accessible with a few caveats. So head over to scholar.google.com Paste in the topic, or better yet, the name of the research paper. So in this case, I'm just going to put in strength training as a topic. So here is a research paper from 1999 that's all about periodicized strength training. So if I click on this, I can see that there is a downloadable PDF. So I'm going to download this to my desktop. And then the workflow is pretty much the same. So I went over to ChatGPT. I selected more. I selected summarize text. I selected summarize a research paper and it's giving me these instructions. And again, like I showed you before, all I need to do is find the download on my computer. So here's the PDF or research paper. So I'm gonna upload this to ChatGPT, ask it to summarize. I probably don't even need to put in that prompt. And now ChatGPT will read through the document and provide a summary of the key findings inside of the paper in question. Now, of course, the caveats are that sometimes ChatGPT can be inaccurate and generate hallucinations. Uh, and obviously more current research papers tend to be gated, so ChatGPT can't access them. So you would, of course, need to make sure that all of these summaries are correct, relevant, and up-to-date. But it could be a quick way for you to interpret a series of PDFs that you have access to on your desktop or via some sort of research library. That's an overview of how you can create summaries quickly and easily with ChatGPT. Just remember to fact check the output check your sources and also to cite where relevant. And do remember that these AI tools are changing all the time. And to be honest, I've had better results using other AI tools like Claude and Perplexity, which I cover in the channel. If you have questions, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one.